My name is Lisa, and I'm currently pregnant. I'm living happily with my husband Noah. On this day. Lisa, are you doing okay with morning sickness? Thanks, I'm alright for now. I hope you're not feeling as sick as you did last time when you couldn't eat anything. If it happens again, I'll probably end up crying my eyes out, you know? I'd be curious to see that, but... I've been careful lately, so it's fine. I see. Morning sickness tends to be worse when you're hungry early in the morning, right? Are you getting enough sleep? You're so worried. You don't have to ask me every day. Sorry, sorry. There's not much I can do, so I end up worrying more. But it's strange, isn't it? Feeling sick when you're hungry. Well, it seems that when you're hungry, stomach acid increases and the empty stomach makes nausea worse. It's inconvenient when you need to get more nutrients, isn't it? It might seem that way, but... When I think about how my body is being changed for the baby, I don't really mind that much. Ah, uh, I see. You can endure it because it's for the child. Lisa, you've already become a mom without even realizing it. And you're already a dad now, too. Noah is very kind and always looks out for me like this. That hasn't changed even after my belly started to grow. Lisa, your belly has gotten pretty big now. Yes, I'm relieved that the baby is growing well. Is there anything you're having trouble with since your belly got bigger? If there is, just let me know, okay? Well, I was confused at first, but it's not that bad once you get used to it. I see. Really, if anything comes up, just tell me, okay? We'll solve anything with wisdom, effort, and courage. Thanks, but solving things with courage might be a bit scary. Don't worry. I'll protect you with all I've got if it comes to that. Well, I'd rather not have to be in that kind of situation. Ah, just kidding. I'm looking forward to meeting our baby. Yes, I can't wait to see their face. Noah is so considerate about everything that I felt at ease. He was also very supportive with housework. All right. It's a perfect sunny day, so I'm going to hang out all the laundry. Then let's work on it together. No, no, no. Leave this to me. You should rest, Lisa. But there's quite a bit of laundry today, you know? Don't worry. That's nothing for me. I'll get it done before lunch. That sounds a bit overwhelming though? Well, I already had breakfast, so before breakfast doesn't quite fit. Anyway, just sit back and watch me. You'll definitely fall in love with me again. Oh, you're so wonderful and cool. Oh, that's so monotone. I'm just joking. Thanks, Noah. Noah did so much for me like this, and I was very grateful. On this day, we were at the obstetrician for a checkup. Doctor, how is everything progressing? Both you and the baby are doing well. I'm glad to hear that. As we get closer to the delivery date, we should increase the checkups to once a week. Understood. Please take care of both me and the baby. Yes, let's work hard together. The results of the checkup were fine, and everything was progressing smoothly. One day, I received a call from my sister-in-law, Mia. Oh, this is unusual. It's from Mia. Hello, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, Lisa. Sorry to bother you when you're busy. Oh, it's really no problem. Is something wrong? You sound a bit tense. Well, I don't usually like to interfere in other people's families, but every day you leave the baby with mom. So what exactly are you doing? Huh? The baby? I said it's been a while and you're busy, but since you picked up the phone right away, it doesn't seem like you're too busy, right? Yes, that's right. Well, can't you spend a bit more time with the baby? I'm not an expert. But isn't the seventh month an important time for both mother and baby? Leaving the baby with your mother-in-law every day seems a bit off to me. Well, that's... I get it. You've just given birth, and things are tough because it's all new, but... But you knew it was going to be like this, right? Was it more difficult than you expected? If so, I can help too. Let's sit down and talk about it sometime. I was surprised to receive a call from Mia after such a long time, and I was even more shocked when she suddenly said this. However, it seemed like Mia had some misunderstandings. Thank you for your concern, I really appreciate it. But, I haven't given birth yet. Huh? Wait, you haven't had the baby yet? Yes, I just had a checkup recently, and everything is progressing well. If you don't believe me, you can ask Noah. Or, we can switch to a video call so you can see my belly. Though, it really does look like it's about to happen soon. I see. 
Sorry, I must have misunderstood. I should have asked Noah first. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I understand your concerns given the situation you thought I was in. I'm not angry, I'm actually very grateful that you wanted to help. Yes, thank you, Lisa. So, everything's going well with the pregnancy. Yes, Noah is very supportive and kind, and everything is going smoothly. Oh, it's good to hear that Noah is being a good dad. I'm relieved to know that. By the way, did you hear about the baby from my mother-in-law? Who is that baby's mother, exactly? Oh, right. That's another issue now. According to mom, it seems like the baby is always being looked after by my sister. Rinko-chan? So, you heard about my request from her? Yes, that seems to be the case. According to her, it sounds like you're working part-time every day. Which doesn't seem right. If that were true, what about labor laws? Ah, uh, so you were worried I might be avoiding childcare? Yes, sorry for speaking without confirming first. I thought I needed to intervene quickly. But, I actually love that side of you, Mia, so it's really okay. By the way, does no one know about Rinko-chan's situation? No, given the way things are. Probably not. After discussing things thoroughly, we decided on a plan and put it into action. A few days later, I went to my in-law's house. I'm home mom, Lisa will be back soon, so we need to get the baby ready. Welcome back, Rinko-chan. It's been a while. Hard Lisa-san. Oh, haha, ha. it's been a while. Yes, it really has been. I'm glad to see you're doing well. So, what does my coming back have to do with the baby? Ah, uh, did I say something like that? What are you talking about? You just said it clearly a moment ago. Oh, mom, um, that was, well, just a turn of phrase. I don't understand what you mean by a turn of phrase at all. What, Haruo? Why are you here too? What about your work? That's beside the point. What's important now is for you to explain what's going on. What do you mean by that? What's going on? You've been leaving the baby with me every day, claiming it's Lisa's child. But, as you can see, I haven't given birth yet. It seems that way. Oh, maybe this is a really crucial time for you. Yes, you shouldn't be here in your condition. Come on, you need to get home quickly. Stop trying to dodge the issue. Lies like before won't work anymore. Now explain the truth clearly. When Rinko-chan saw us at home, she tried to make excuses. However, her excuses were not convincing, and when Haruo pressed her, she... Well, I'll tell you, but... Actually, that child is a friend's. What? She's a single mother and has to walk to support herself. Her parents aren't on good terms with her, and I'm the only one she can rely on. Even if that's true, if Rinko's taking care of the child at home, that should be enough. I have plans too, so it wasn't that simple. That's why I told a little lie and had mom help out. Ha, huh, what are you saying? If that's the case, there was no need to lie at all. And Rinko-chan, weren't you a stay-at-home mom? I don't think it's usual to have plans every day. Well, that's because. I've never taken care of children before, so I thought it would be better to leave it to mom. Then shouldn't you be learning from your mother-in-law how to take care of the child? Leaving a friend's child unattended is really irresponsible. Well, that's true. Are you really not going to tell the truth? Huh? What do you mean by that? What are you doing every day? Are you involved in something you can't tell me about? What? Do you think I'm having an affair or something? That's not true at all. It's horrible to accuse me. How can you say that after being suspected? Even you, mom. Everyone's being awful. I'm leaving. As Rinko-chan tried to leave, suddenly. Oh, too bad. I can't let you escape from here yet. Hey, big brother. We're going to find out where you've been and what you've been doing. Spill it with this guy here. Even you, sis. And Futatsu is he too. Rinko, your sister is seriously intense. What is this situation? Has everything been exposed already? Exposed? You mean the affair you had with this guy? Or maybe it's double infidelity, and the child you were leaving with mom is his? Ha. Ah, this is the worst. Futatsu, why did you spill everything? Wait a second. I'm only in one piece because I confessed honestly. Do you think I don't care what happens to me? Yeah. I gotta admit, Sess, it was really scary. I sympathize with that part. Oh, come on, both of you treating me like a monster. And how did you guys even find Futatsu's location? I shouldn't have made any mistakes that would get me caught. Oh, I have a detective friend and I had him look into it. A detective? Hiring a pro to deal with an amateur is crazy. 
I don't want to hear that from someone who's cheating. I mean, did you really think evidence would pile up in just a few days? There was evidence. So, I just made a fool of myself resisting. It's your fault for trying to run away suddenly. It's unavoidable. Sis, unavoidable means something that can't be helped by a human effort. It's not about physical strength. That's it. The superhuman strength that's holding me now. No way. Is this really this mad? Oh, this is over. Everyone just says whatever they want about others. Well, fine. Now explain why you did all this. Depending on your response, it might be unavoidable. Please don't twist the meaning of words. With Mia glaring at Rinko, she looked down and began to speak. You see, every day was so monotonous and boring, and I wanted some excitement, so I just... Is that all you have to say? Do you even understand what you've done? But it couldn't be helped. There's nothing to do if I'm just at home all the time. You were the one who wanted to quit your job and be a housewife, weren't you? Then you should have started working again right away. No way. I just got freed from work. Why should I have to walk again? What about the child? Because of your refusal, we still don't have children. If I had a child, I'd lose all my free time. Staying at home all the time and taking care of the child. Are you asking me to live like that? Don't joke around. In the end, you just wanted to play, didn't you? After everything we've done for you to repay us with such betrayal. Have some shame, will you? But isn't that what being married and supporting your wife means? We're together based on that promise, so I have the right to have fun. Don't be ridiculous. Who made such a promise? Well, let's say for a moment that being lazy is acceptable. But how does that justify destroying someone else's family? I didn't know he was married. If I had known, I wouldn't have gotten involved with him. Liar. You were the one who was eager because it made things more exciting. What? You keep quiet. This is the worst. How did it come to this? Rinko, we're getting a divorce, and you two will be sued for damages. Divorce? Wait a minute. This is too sudden. What's strange is your way of thinking. You lied to and betrayed your family and don't think you did anything wrong, do you? This is a good opportunity for you to be alone and reflect on what you've done. By the way, I'll also send the evidence to Futatsu's wife. So be prepared for compensation claims from her as well. No. Why? How can you be so cruel? You are telling me to bear a huge debt and live alone. I don't care about that. Anyway, you need to leave the house today. This is the end for us. If you refuse to comply, be prepared for the consequences. Unavoidable is so convenient. You're not allowed to come back to our house. Reflect on your own. If you ever have children, you'll understand the irresponsibility of what you've done. Make sure you never do this again. Wait. Give me a chance. Ugh. Why did I even get involved in an affair? Leaving Rinko behind, we went on our way. Haruo divorced Rinko and demanded compensation from both Rinko and Futatsu, while Futatsu's wife also divorced him and sought damages and child support from him. The two of them, burdened with large debts, moved to a cheap apartment to reduce costs. They had to work tirelessly to repay their debts, but Rinko refused to work, leading to constant arguments between them. Consequently, Rinko reluctantly worked late every day, while Futatsu regretted his decision and endured a stressful life. As for our family, Lisa's delivery is coming up soon, right? I'm sure the baby will be cute, just like me. Why would the baby look like you? At least make it look like me. Yes, if it looks like me, that would be better. But if it looks like Mia, the poor child. Hey, mom, what's that supposed to mean? But if the baby does look like Mia, I'd be a little happy. Lisa? Thanks, even if it's just a joke. It makes me happy to hear that. Hey sis, Lisa said a little, not that she'd be thrilled. No, that's not what I meant. Is that right? Then you'd rather the baby look like me, wouldn't you? You too. If it looks like me, you better remember that. That doesn't even make sense. My pregnancy and the baby's progress have been smooth, and the due date is approaching. To be prepared for any situation, I've been staying at my in-law's house until the baby is born. Mia frequently visits, so the house is always lively. I'm surrounded by truly kind people, and I'm deeply grateful for how blessed I am. We continue to enjoy a warm and happy time together. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. 
Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.